Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful and very wet Atlanta, Georgia. Today is, what is today? March 24th, 2020. And on today's video, I'm here in the box truck. Um, what I wanted to talk about was this right here. The Echo Recall Notice. This is on the blower, the backpack blower that I have, the PB8010T. And this has to do with the shoulder straps. Apparently, and I'm going to read what Echo says, uh, shoulder straps, plastic buckle, or the anti-static wire can be drawn into the fan, causing the fan to break apart and allow plastic pieces to be expelled through the blower fan housing and pose a laceration and impact hazard to the operator. So doing a little bit of... Um, checking around on the internet I um, found that this has happened about 60 something times and apparently one person got hit in the neck with a piece of plastic so what I did was I had absolutely no idea that this was I'd heard that it was a problem and didn't didn't know at all I'm going to insert a picture of the strap one of the strap it was the left one i think that's the one that's the main problem i'm going to insert a picture um, right now so you can see that mine was just about ready to break the webbing where it attaches it was basically coming undone the other side was completely fine so i'm going to um, well first of all i've got to give a shout out to my echo dealer I use Hills Ace Hardware in Loganville, Georgia. I called them last night about six o'clock and said, hey, I got this recall notice. The guy's like, well, just, we just got some, some straps in to start doing replacements, bring it in first thing in the morning, and it should be done by the end of the day. So I've got a bunch of leaf cleanups that I've got to do this week. And I was like, eh, okay, you sure? And he's like, yeah, well, you know, we can get it done. So I brought it in there this <clears throat> in the morning mechanic wasn't even in there yet and i went got some fuel for the box truck went to walmart and i was on the way back home and then they called and it was already done so it took less than an hour um, and i'm going to show you guys what they actually did so these are the brand new straps right here okay they pretty much look the same as the other ones but this stitch right here is a little more robust on both sides um, other than that there is uh, no difference in the straps the blower currently has I think a hundred it's got like 111 hours on it. And I just had to replace the plug. I was having some problems. Uh, when it would start, it would, when I squeeze the trigger, brrr, brrr, for like five minutes. It was horrible. So I pulled the plug out. The plug looked good. It was the original plug, but I replaced it and fixed it. So uh, I love this blower, it is absolutely phenomenal. I will, I'm not quite finished with the, with the truck. I am using it. Um, just a little quick overview. I had to drop off my other trimmer, my SRM 225. That trimmer is blowing oil out the exhaust and it's accumulating on the side. And it's, I have brought it in once before. I told him, I said, look, I think the ring rings are bad. I don't know if that piston has one or two rings, but I believe the ring is not sealing properly. It runs fine, starts fine, but it's just, it's, it's letting oil by. And I'm using ethanol free fuel, Amsoil Saber. I've tried, I even tried the, the, uh, the Echo Power Blend. It does the exact same thing at the proper 50 to one ratio. It's, 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 
that's what it's doing. I will show you guys. This is on my 2620. It's just as clean as a bell in there. Here's my 2620T, clean as a bell. And also uh, on the, uh, the blower, just as clean as a bell in there. So there's something up with that trimmer. And so I, while I was there, I dropped it off. And uh, the last time all they did was they cleaned the carburetor and I said, well, that's not gonna fix it. And they're like, well, if it doesn't fix it, bring it back, it's under warranty. So I did. Anyway, so I wanted to just let you guys know that if you have the uh, Echo, hopefully you'll be getting one of these recall notices. It's a very quick fix. I could have actually done it probably in five minutes. The blower tube replacement, the corrugated part, they just gave me the parts and I did it myself. But I've had people say that that's not a recall, but my dealer tells me that that is a recall, even though I didn't get a notice in there. Um, but so I would definitely buy another one of these blowers. They are phenomenal. They're extremely powerful and I can't say enough good things about them. So hopefully I won't have any more problems and it will last me. I'm going to try to get a thousand hours out of it. That's my goal. But anyway, guys, I wanted to just to do this update and I will, when I get everything done in the truck, I will do a proper video. There's going to be another mower coming soon. If the rain, we just, it just rains and rains. Over the last two and a half months, it's rained almost every single day and it's heart and business. It's a bad time to have this box truck payment. But I'll tell you what, you, after using this, I would not, N-O-T, go back to a truck and trailer as my primary service vehicle. And I'm going to go over the pros and the cons. There are a few things with this truck that I don't like that's easier with the trailer. But generally, uh, oh, well, far, far, far... Um, better to have the uh, this box truck i mean it just is it makes life so much easier but it may not be for you so i'll go over all that stuff but anyway guys thank you very much hopefully the rest of this week it's not going to be any rain i am so far behind and then you've got this coronavirus i already already had a customer ask me if i'm still doing service work uh yeah i am i don't I have almost zero contact with any of my customers. Some of them I don't ever see, you know, so, but yes, we're still cutting, weather permitting. Guys, stay healthy out there. Wash those hands, keep them away from your eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.